welcome everyone to the T4L show. Can't believe we're already in term four. Where does the year go? Joe, what have we got coming up on the show today? We've got an action-packed episode in store today, Yvette. We've got a heartwarming story of the power of telepresence with Ethan and Selena. You're going to explore creativity in the classroom and the power of the pencil. I can't wait for that segment. And of course, we're deep diving into the lab with our friend, the Microbit. So one of the big tenets of everything we do is understanding that every student is known, cared for and valued. And to that effect, we are now going to look at a piece of amazing tech that's making a real difference to one of our students. My name's Selena Lucas and um, I am a single mum of two beautiful boys, full-time carer, looking after both children, but primarily Ethan, who is nine and who has a very rare brain condition called polymicrogyria, bilateral generalised. And what that means for Ethan is profoundly disabled, both intellectually and um, physically. So the challenge is increased into getting him to school, the logistics of getting him to school, um, you know, with oxygen tanks, suction machines, medication, um, supporting him on the way if he's seizures in the car or seizures on the way home. And then the suggestion came up of, well, hey, look, we think we've got a solution. Let's try a telepresent robot, put it in the classroom to represent Ethan, and we'll live stream back home on his iPad. Before we had it, I mean, I didn't see a lot of Aethan, but now I see him every day. We see him for every, every lesson, um, mostly. So I get to build a better connection with Aethan, get to know him a lot more, and he gets to know his peers. We try to get the students to feel as if they all have a place and that they're all friends and that we talk about them being friends. So this is where all of their socialising goes on with, with friends. So that's been really important. Oh, you know who that is? That's Oscar. That's Oscar. He's playing the drum as well. So that's the connection to the community. That gives him everyday purpose. And that's been life-changing for Ethan. It's been pivotal. Um, so we've gone from attending two or three days per term to dialing on almost every day. He wakes in the morning, he's waking with purpose. So we can say to him in the morning, Are you gonna go to school today? Hey? Mummy's gonna pick you up. Mummy's gonna. You know, he goes into his chair, and as we're putting him in his chair, he's starting to smile. There's anticipation that he knows that he's gonna be connecting into school. I mean, how awesome is that? I can't provide that at home. To see Ethan's reaction, to be part of it, to hold his musical instrument at home and shake it and hear the music therapist talking to him, the engagement, it's wonderful. A wonderful, wonderful opportunity. And it's worked so successfully that we're going to start using it with um, another student who hasn't been able to attend school for a number of years of being so ill um, and so fragile. So it's, it's just opening up a world that we hadn't realised existed. And for the students, it's just bringing them to school and they, you know, they can't do that otherwise. It's great. Yay! It increased his quality of life. It's more joy, more social connection, more education opportunity. You can't measure that. How does someone measure that? It's wonderful. So this could change not one life like Ethan, this could be cha changing, you know, a huge volume of children's lives. What an amazing story of the power of technology. So what's up next, Yvette? So recently I was in Dubbo and I got to spend an afternoon with teachers who are really keen to explore creativity using the iPad. Have a look at what we did. I'm stepping out from behind my hosting role to actually look at creativity using the iPad. For those of you that don't know, as well as being an English teacher and working at T4L, I'm a kids author, so I'm all about storytelling and narrative. So I really wanted to unpack some of the tools that are available for teachers to work on getting their students' books published, because what's better than getting your kids ready to become authors?
What I'm actually using is the Everyone Can Create Drawing Book, which is available on the Apple Bookstore. It's free and it's a great product that will take you through the publishing process for your students. So you can explore elements of book design, understanding how covers are designed, how layout happens without the love of an editor, if you're lucky enough to have that, but actually just go through the whole process of the life cycle of a book right through to publishing it yourself by exporting it into an EPUB format. I think it's very cool because then you get to call your students authors. So the other product that we're going to look at is the app called Sketches School and what it does is totally negates the need for a pen, pencil, colouring in, anything messy, you can do it straight to the iPad and I've just been playing around here with simple text. Um, I've also been drawing characters from my books but what we're actually going to do is start drawing and we're going to explore stories. So if you have a look we're going to just change up the colour here and we're actually going to unpack this story that we all know and love, The Three Little Pigs. I really wanted to explore storytelling in school and how you can get kids to be authors because I've just gone and spent loads of time working with schools to create authors. And what we're going to do today is publish our own picture book and we're going to use Sketcher School to draw our own images. We've got copy that we're going to write the text to the story and you're also going to get the chance to record yourself narrating part of the story or videoing part of the story and embed it into your book and then publish a picture book that's a fully interactive picture book. We used two free apps today to create stories and actually explore retellings of a fairy tale, The Three Little Pigs. As you saw, the teachers and I had a ball with the creativity behind using an iPad and just a simple product everyone can create. Um, I hope you can pick up an iPad and maybe a pencil and have a go at it yourself never really taught in an RSL before so that presented itself with its own challenges especially at about 5 30 in the afternoon but we snuck in before the last post but anyway it was a great afternoon for everyone and looking forward to doing some more what have you been up to Joe? look Yvette I know we were in Dubbo for that huge event but we did not stop there we went as far west as we could go we started the whole t for l team out at Broken Hill made our way through to Wilcannia and then back through to Dubbo and look we really want to tell you about our experiences and show you what we got up to so take a peek find it sleeping in its nest before it wakes up Touch it gently, you want it feeling completely calm So you can hold it in your palm And help it grow just like it was born to be Come, 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 come Whoa, 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 whoa. to catching up with you on the North Coast for the next tour. And to continue that journey of inspiration, let's take a look at what's in the lab with Phil. Hi, I'm Phil, and we're in the lab today with Microbit. Microbit is a microcontroller with a processor, a gyroscope, also Bluetooth for radio connectivity, 25 LED lights. It is absolutely amazing. Look at all the fantastic products you can create to code. So coding in Microbit you use MakeCode, so that's drop and drag block form coding, or you can use Java as well with MakeCode. So Microbit is actually quite easy to program. Uh, you'll just need to go to the MakeCode website, uh, it's a Microsoft website, and there's actually thousands of tutorials on there that you can use. If you are a beginner, I'll suggest starting off having your name as a name badge displaying on the micro bit or just perhaps just setting off certain LEDs as a love heart and then start moving more into the advanced uh, micro bit coding such as the love meter which is one of my favorite ones.
Uh, and you actually don't need a micro bit to get started as the micro bit itself is located on the top left hand side of your screen. Uh, and you can simulate the different programs that you program the micro bit to go. The example would be sustainability, explaining to students how sustainability works, uh, such as I've used an example in the smart city. The street lights are programmed currently just to use the button as a simple form coding, but you can also go into more advanced programming with it where you can have one micro bit radio communicate to another micro bit, which uh, picks up a light sensor or a bit of movement. So really it comes down to the depth of your code of knowledge um, and how advanced your students are with mathematics and working out variables. With the micro bit moisture sensor, I have programmed it to uh, have a variable of 50-50 so if the moisture content or the power running between the two prongs is less than 50%, uh, it will show a sad face. Uh, and if it's greater than 50%, it will show a smiley face because the soil is moist. If you want to purchase the micro bit, just navigate to EdBuy in your staff portal and you can find a relevant vendor there. Another area you can go to would be going to the stem.t4l learning library for further resources in your classroom activities. Thanks for joining me in the lab with Microbit. It's hard to believe that at the beginning of this year I didn't even know what a Microbit was, let alone its <laughs> power. Now I'm writing magazine articles about it. Joe, tell them about the magazine. Well, two issues have already come out, which is so exciting. Now, number three is on the way. It is going to be jam-packed full of so much information, including lots on accessibility. Yeah, we'll have more on the Ethan and Selena story and other great inspiring stories of how tech can be modified to be used for every student. So make sure you sign up to get your copy in your inbox. Well, I think that's us out, Joe. That's Another it. issue done. Another term rolls on. I'll see you again oh for the gosh. next episode. See you guys. See ya.